Do you have certain phrases that you say in an argument that could mm-hmm. be hurtful to your relationship? And if so, have you ever thought about how it affects your partner when mm-hmm. you use them? Mm-hmm. We're going to talk about that and much more here on this episode of Couples Pursued Live. Hello, this is Vincent. And Valerie. Woodard. Woodard. And on this episode of Couples Pursuit. We're going to talk about five toxic phrases that are hurting your relationship. Yes, yes, yes. Look, hit that share button, hit that like button, and also tag someone in this video if you think this can be a helpful, something they might be talking about, interested in. Mm-hmm. Look, our job here at Couples Pursuit is to give you biblical principles so you can pursue and maintain a successful relationship so if you're new to the channel we'd like to say welcome Mm -hmm. and if you're returning we'd like to say welcome Welcome back back. and thank you so much for sharing this video and tagging someone else in it It helps us out a lot thank you for sharing esther we see you good evening yes (laughs) so babe um you know this topic is um this is we we i don't know if we ever made a video quite like this no because we kind of, we we know our triggers the things that we don't like yes said yes, yes. or to say mm-hmm. um, to each other but mm-hmm. um i just i thought it would be a great time to make a video about this so what are your thoughts i think it's great because um this comes at a perfect time and you'll know why when i say it but sometimes it is it's not just uh, within a, a marriage relationship but within family relationships yeah, yeah. It can be with with friends people will say you know well you know i was angry mm-hmm. so i just said whatever you know um don't hold it against me mm-hmm. i was upset people say different things when they get upset and you know i didn't really mean it and um you know, sticks and stones may break my bones, yeah. but words will never hurt me. And mm-hmm. it's not true. It's not so not Words true. are hurtful. And they carry so much weight. Mm-hmm. And, it's, and I really think when people say that, they're trying to not let it affect them. I like, right. they're, like they're hoping, I'm not going to let you, sh- I'm not going to show it. I'm not going right. to let you know that I was like phys- physically um, disturbed by what mm-hmm. you said. And even though you... you you just quote unquote said words. Mm-hmm. Um, it, those words, words sometimes can shake people, you know, to a core. It can it can jar something, um, you know, an emotion, or um, maybe even anger in someone. Yes. It, and a lot of times we true. people resort to these to Tactics, a loved one. Yes. Saying trigger words. Mm-hmm. That's another. Um, I started to say, um, put that in the title. Those mm-hmm. these trigger words, and also that could destroy your relationship. But I said I don't think no relationship is is you know unfixable. Mm-hmm. Um, but it can really it can put so much harm. I really want to get that point across. It can do so much harm when you you say, well, they're just words. I just said something. I didn't I didn't hit them. Well, I didn't really you know, mean didn't, it, yeah. or you know, it just I was mad. Like, Tough enough, excuse, or, so. yeah. Oh, I was man. upset, and it's really not. Um, it's really a sign of maturity. Yeah. When you when you choose to not use your words as weapons. That's true. Communication, articulation, explanation is better than blowing up. Yeah. And just, you know, uh, verbally vomiting on people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know that's vivid, but. Well, it's, it's our, you know, the thing that we really, uh, want to get across Mm -hmm. is that you deserve to be in a happy and healthy relationship right you deserve it it's not something that might be attainable could Mm -hmm. be for other people i believe you deserve you deserve you and your spouse yeah and um or your future spouse if you're single and you're watching this video Mm -hmm. i believe that if you set the boundaries now that you know what i deserve to be happy yeah i deserve to be in a healthy relationship and I'm not, I'm not going to settle, you know, I'm not just going to say, well, maybe this is being happy is not for me. Maybe maybe being healthy is not for me. No, no, you deserve it. So let's get into it. I wanted to um, bring home the fact that I know people can kind of write off to say, you know what? Well, she, sh- the other person shouldn't have done such and such. You know? Yeah. Well, you deserve it. Well, you yeah. did that. You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and I'm, I'm not, I'm not, there's no blame here. I don't think it should be used at all, period. Mm-hmm. 
and you like, well, you know, Vince, what do, what do you mean? I'm saying the title of the title said five toxic phrases that are hurting your relationship. Yeah. Not because of whatever somebody else did. I said these phrases can by itself can do some damage. Mm -hmm. And we ain't talking about whatever might have caused your, your reaction within you. I believe mm -hmm. you can govern yourself. When you get to a place where you want, want to, like my wife said, vomit these words or you want mm -hmm. to say these phrases, you can mm -hmm. control yourself and be like, look, what's going to be the aftermath? What's going to be the fallout from right. using these phrases? So number one mm -hmm. is um, phrases like you always or you never. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you always bring bringing that up. You know, you, you're always saying such and such. Now, first of all, not every time we have a disagreement, I'm always saying the, whatever it is and, or you might say you 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 never give me credit or you never you know take Pay my side yeah it's or... like it's not i understand what you're saying you're frustrated you think it happens a whole lot of time it's frequent <laughs> it may it may be frequent and for some people some things may happen each time they mm -hmm. argue because it can be a habit but nine times out of ten a person isn't always doing something True. or never doing something mm -hmm. because uh, I believe that it's an exaggeration mm -hmm. of emotion yeah. that you feel exasperated. Like I'm tired of this happening and I'm tired of this or That's I'm tired true. of this not happening. Or there's an expectation. One of the things we used to deal with is I would say, um, please don't prejudge what I'm going to do. Yeah. There will be, yeah. well, I already know what you're going to do. Yeah. You're going to do this or you're going to do that and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, mm, give me an opportunity. Yeah. You know, don't prejudge what I'm going to say mm -hmm. or do, because that means you you haven't even considered solution. Yeah, I'm, I'm only considering my response. You're just like, oh, up, yeah. there's a problem. Here we go. This is what's going to happen. And it's not always that way. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's true. And yeah, you know, I believe if you behave in this way, you're, it's only really only one resort that can happen. Mm -hmm. When somebody behaves in a way, when they're hearing the phrases, you never hear, and you, you always, it's like, like you, like you said, in, in the other person's mind, it's like a disregard. Yeah, it's to, like you already shut me down. Yeah, you, you, you it's like I don't really mm -hmm. want to hear that. Basically, that's that's the mindset. Mm -hmm. You might not even thought that you were even you know saying that, mm -hmm. but when you you start using the phrase like, "Oh, this is we always go through this. Here we go again." It's like <sighs> it's a disregard for whatever the emotion right. is. Whatever yeah. this, the, the situation is, it's like we're we're already putting a cap on the solution. Yeah. <laughs> There's a wall that's going up. It's like, oh, okay, you know, you're here. She comes with this again. There you go with that again. Mm -hmm. And so it's like the other person will feel like, well, I already know you're not going to hear anything that I have to say. And, well, yeah, and you're fighting. It's crazy because you're fighting to be heard. It's like I gotta explain to. the fact that. Okay, first of all, no, that's not true. And I don't like it when you say untruths about whatever. You, you're, you're fighting to be heard. You're fighting to explain yourself. And whatever the situation was, mm -hmm. you haven't even gotten to that. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we still on <laughs> just dealing over the emotion or whatever it is we're, supposed to, we're talking about. Yeah, we, we haven't even gotten to the argument. And that... That's one of the main reasons why we're talking about these these five things we're going to talk about tonight, because they come they, they become barriers to communication. Yeah. Whether you keep talking or not, what is the quality of your communication when yeah. you start to relate to each other in these ways? Yeah, we you know, we spent a lot of time and I, I used to say this. We spent a lot of time mm -hmm. arguing about how to argue. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> It's like, mm -hmm. you know, it's not even setting you know, ground rules. Right, no boundaries. Rules. It's like, well, that's just how I feel, so mm -hmm. I should be able to say how I feel. Yeah. You should examine how you feel <laughs> before you say anything. Examine how you feel. There's something I like to say, um, and I, I say, um, this was a download from the Holy Spirit, um, from God to me during a Bible study. Emotions are indicators, not instructions. Yeah, mm -hmm. Just because you feel a way doesn't mean that you are supposed to act on it. That's true. You're supposed to examine how you feel. Mm -hmm. Let this, Don't suppress your feelings, but examine your feelings. Mm -hmm. Evaluate your feelings. And then you, you speak based on the evaluation that you're having. Now, for me, I'm going to 
place those feelings next to the word of God and say, okay, where am I? How am I out of order? Okay, God, am I wrong? Yeah. Because, because love is not um, selfish. It is not puffed up. It doesn't parade itself around. You know, it's kind and it's loving. And if I'm not being kind and loving, <coughs> if I'm not doing that, I need to examine me. Mm-hmm. Even if the other person is doing something that's irritating, frustrating, provoking, or whatever, we still have to be responsible for how we behave. That's and true. if that means you have to shut down communication with someone who is being combative or aggressive mm-hmm. or whatever, then you do that. But it doesn't give you the right to return that. That's true. That's okay. true. So number two mm-hmm. um, is you're just like your... Ooh, ooh. You know, you just like your father. You know, you're just like your mother. You're just like your brother. Mm. You know, especially if the the sibling relationship is strained. Mm-hmm. You know, or you just like my ex, or you know, just mm-hmm. so many other ways you could fill in that blank. And then the variation of that. Why can't you be more like? Oh wow. The comparison. Wow. Yeah. Uh. That's that's an ugly one too. Mm. Especially if you already know that there are issues there. If there are issues of, um, uh, I know two sisters who sometimes fight, and they'll say, "Well, you acting just like your daddy," Ooh. and they they set each other off with that. Those mm. are bombs they use to upset each other. And it's because they both have a volatile relationship with the father and they don't like some of his characteristics. And so when they argue, they fight one another with that. And well, that's so unhealthy. That, and that that leads into, well, so just to reiterate on that, mm-hmm. you know you're pushing a button. Oh, yeah. When you say this word, because it's you have some previous knowledge mm-hmm. of whatever it is. You, if you know that the your, your husband and his father's relationship is strained because his father was you know was a Rolling Stone or whatever he was mm-hmm. he was mean. He never came. He never stayed home. He was not lazy. Very, they, he said kind words. Yeah. you know to him. He never really gave him showed him affection. Mm-hmm. You know. So now when. If you're in an argument and your your husband is like not doing giving you a lot of affection, you're like, well, you just like your your father. Well, you see, you know that pushes a button with him. Yeah. He, he, he's, he, he dealt with that, and he's probably he's still dealing with it. And and mm. so now we're talking about what do we, did you really were you really trying to remind him to not act a certain way, or were you really trying to? Yeah, know? it was like taking <laughs> that lighter fluid and. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Adding fuel to the fire because you know that's going to ignite something in him. And there's something in you, if you're doing this, that is selfish, Mm -hmm. that is seeking the revenge that comes from poking, turning it, Mm -hmm. you know, turning that knife. And it's just, um, it's immature. Yeah. Yeah. It's unfair and it's unloving. Oh, wow. So, yeah. look, they, hopefully, hopefully <laughs> if you're <laughs> noticing um, that maybe you, you might find yourself saying these phrases or, you know, someone that's going through this, mm-hmm. um, this, this is a good time to take a mental note and also mm-hmm. to tag someone in this video. Yeah. Um, you know, just to show them, hey, look, they're talking about a good topic tonight. I thought you might be interested in it. Uh, you ain't got to say all that. Don't tag. tag them and say, you need to hear this. Nah, nah, that's not going to help. Nah. But the, 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 the uh, moving on number three <laughs> number three is is you're so sensitive. Oh. A lot of a lot of I've done this yeah. to my wife oh, and a yeah. lot of men. I'm I'm saying that because I speak with a lot of men mm-hmm. and I I hear this and I come to realize that as men, mm-hmm. I guess we have we have deemed ourselves the emotional regulators. <laughs> oh my God! Are, Speak on that, husband. We have deemed ourselves like it sh- it, you should. I don't understand why you're crying. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that serious. You know, I didn't. I didn't say it like you thought I said it. So I don't mm-hmm. understand why you're so upset. Why is that such a big deal? It's yeah, it's like I, it doesn't affect me like that. Right. So I don't understand why it affects you like that. Yeah. And now we get to the point where you, you, you're so sensitive, especially if you know someone's crying, they're emotional, and they're mm-hmm. showing, you know, I mean, even physically, they're showing their emotions. And you're 
that person is like, well, I first of all, I didn't know that maybe that you did get that emotional, but now I'm going to call you on it. Be like, well, you shouldn't be acting like that. Yeah, I'm going to chastise I, I've you. I've learned. I can't, mm-hmm. I can't tell somebody how they should be feeling. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I'm not saying that, um, like, I learned that early. I'm talking, I learned that later on, 12 years thir- in our marriage. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm still, at a, I was still at a point where I was, I didn't understand. If I didn't feel a certain way, I don't understand why she felt so strongly about the situation. <laughs> it was perplexing. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I, 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 but in talking with getting in this line of, um, uh, I say work, but you know, mm-hmm. getting in this, um, being a relationship coach and speaking with men, mm-hmm. I come to find out that it, this is a thing. It's real. It's mm-hmm. like I, we are. I said emotional regulators. It's like I, it shouldn't. You shouldn't be revved up by that, or you know, if, if I don't feel this way, I don't understand why you feel that way. And I and I've had to correct them to be like, look, that's their feelings. You trying to tell right. them how, how to regulate their feelings, not not yours. Right. <laughs> and you need to check. We have to check. I said we have to respect. Mm-hmm. That's probably the better phrase. We have to respect them, your your spouse. Mm-hmm. Enough to be like, you know what? They're feeling this way for whatever reason, but it's they're they're feeling this way. Yeah, and I don't want them to be hurt. I don't want them to be upset. I especially yeah. don't want them to be upset with me. Right. And here's here's something. Here's another perspective on that. Um, the the fact that men and boys are taught suck it up yeah yeah. press it down Mm -hmm. it's like now you're passing that on to me as a woman you're trying to tell me that anytime you know when when men belittle each other they call each other by women's names they call each other girls Mm -hmm. you know they make references to panties or you know other words that begin with that letter and uh you know weak Mm -hmm. girly miss ma'am all of those those words that are feminine and not negative they use them as weapons against men and so then it's like because you are showing emotion mm-hmm. because you are showing sensitivity that makes you you you're acting like a woman woman weak mm-hmm. woman weak. yeah yeah and passing that along you know in in like you're saying is trying trying to regulate how someone feels is not okay now if you have someone who is who is hyper emotional, mm-hmm. hypersensitive, which is a thing that can be so associated, overly sensitive, very, very um, sensitive. Yes. That is something that most people are not. Mm-hmm. So every woman is not that. Sometimes people do have um, issues or things that affect their life that have caused them to react and respond in a certain way that is not quote unquote normal Mm -hmm. or quote unquote healthy and that person specifically you should not be badgering about that and that's the time okay maybe not at that time Mm -hmm. but we should be working once we get past the emotional instability that's that's going on between whatever Mm -hmm. we should always be um recalibrating Mm -hmm. you know it is we're never just like we are you know that's just how i am that's just how she is we're we're we can always do better if we want to do better yeah and especially if your partner is like you a oh, baby that really you know i didn't I, just, I didn't know you was gonna get th- that bothered and it's um is it was it just the fact that I left the microwave on high, you know, or was it, love to say that. Or was it is it something else, you know, that we need to talk about, you yeah. know, because is it, it the is it the the point of discussion or is it what's underneath that? Yeah. Like for instance, if you you say I left the microwave on high, but <laughs> that's from some joke from years ago. But um let's say why do you you know why do you always there's that always and mm-hmm. never why do you always say that when my mom is present mm. and it's like well what did i say mm-hmm. you told her that she makes the best biscuits in the world mm. right or you said i don't make my wife doesn't make biscuits like yeah. you do. oh you cook for your husband every day oh you do this for, 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 why do you say that yeah. when she's present well is it about what i said or is it that what i said 
dredges up something yeah. in you. Now I, I feel I feel like you don't value me as much as you value my mom. Or I feel like you think I don't know how to cook or you don't uh, like my cooking or you know, you feel like um what's under that? Yeah. Like, like I don't can't, keep, I can't fix the car. I can't do the Well my husband or, don't honey. Oh your husband not, fixed your car. Mm. <laughs> if that's all you do, mm, yeah, he you're is. saying something. Oh yeah. you don't mm. Well what's um, what's under that? What's, what's beneath I think that? We have to work yeah. towards, you know, um not talking about the emotion per se mm -hmm. but let's let's try to get to the root or whatever is, is caused especially my wife sometimes sometimes there are people that are just you know they can't be seem, seemingly sensitive about a lot of things and it seemed to come down so, so much that they, they blurt it out they blurt their feelings out and mm -hmm. you want to understand first of all baby I, I don't think you even want to do that you know but if you do let's talk about the fact how because I'm, I'm I don't want to be the source of your pain you know i don't want to keep triggering you mm -hmm. whatever you know so let's let's have the conversation about those trigger words and those things that are happening um behind the scenes okay yeah so um so number four is um is not saying anything or saying phrases like i'm done hmm. you know mm -hmm. when you when you're in a disagreement mm -hmm. And sometimes in your mind, you, I, 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 I've done this. In your mind, you're like, oh, this is just not going to, I'm not going to be able to get her to see my point of view. Um, so it's probably best to just not to say anything. I'm just not going to say nothing. And okay, so on the other side of that, when it was really loud and we're getting almost confrontational, well, I, I could, we need to take it down somehow way. We need to take it down. We, we have to. For the, not just for the sake of everybody else, I mean, for your own health. You just have to. It's not that good to get riled up to the point where you got to... You're yelling. Yeah. Screaming. You know. But we, when we, have, when we want to have a conversation. When your spouse wants to have a conversation with you and you at a point where I don't know what else to say. Mm -hmm. So I'm just not going to say anything. Th mm -hmm. that's, that's hurting your relationship. Yeah. You, the, you, it would be helpful for you to speak through the fact that why you think you don't have anything else to say because there's a thought running in the back of your head I don't have anything else to say because da 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 you know and it shouldn't be because you're so sensitive <laughs> because you always and you never <laughs> because what's the other thing because you just like you it. just like <laughs> those can't be, be the answers in those moments you need to adopt the I phrase <laughs> The I phrases are great. I'm having moments. a difficult time communicating to yes. you what I feel. And it seems as though whatever I say at this moment is not being received. Or I feel like it's not going to be received. Mm -hmm. So what can we do? Mm -hmm. Because he's, he's, he's good I good. just, I don't know what else to do. <sighs> and that's very different than, you know what, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh mm -hmm. that's it or you just walking out the to, door but I'm just gonna... or not saying like you said not saying anything yeah. just giving each other the silent treatment mm. that's not cool you know and saying I'm done is very triggering to the security in a relationship yeah. because one person can say I, we had this issue one time where I said you know what I'm not dealing with this anymore mm -hmm. I'm done and you thought I meant like the whole relationship like we quit like you quit and we're married you're quitting me He's thinking, <laughs> like you done and done? then i went do you remember i went i went out and i stayed all day yeah i stayed out all day yeah. just clearing my head i'm window shopping just mm -hmm. you know and i came back and he was like you know like he thought i was leaving him yeah, I thought i'm like like, you know that scene from Why Did I Get Married with Jill Scott and what's that guy's name? And, oh, and he's like, head black dude. I, was all like <laughs> I thought you left me because of him. It was because of him. But mm -hmm. yeah, and I'm like, what? Yeah. No, I mean, I'm tired of dealing with your attitude and yeah. I needed some space. That's what I meant. Yeah, that's why I said that. When you get up point of that conversation, <laughs> conversational tone yes. or actions. Uh huh. You know, it has to be, it has to be calmed down um, somehow, yeah. some way. But you know this right here i hope is helping you yeah we have a, a, a last one that i just think you should just take out your whole language all together let's say it mean, together all right 
Shut, Shut up. up. <laughs> For real, I, I, there's no, no there is no scenario yeah. that that word can be helpful in no. whatever point you're trying to get across in your mm-hmm. relationship. The, the, this in your relationship it just should not exist certain words just should not ever be used if when you're in a relationship with someone yeah I, I, I'm think I'm, I'm saying that because you know somebody could I'm just saying if you get this right here just in, in your relationship with someone with your spouse and or in your family members or whatever mm-hmm. that you just that word carries so much it carries so much mm-hmm. but it never explains itself. Like you, you, you throw it, and you threw everything when you said that. You, it was so much to deal with. When you said "shut up," you like you never want me to talk ever again. You don't like what I'm talking about now. You don't want to hear my voice. You don't like me. You don't love me. You it's, don't respect it's, me. It's like shut what is, up. What do you mean? <laughs> and it's like shut up, girl. Are you can't no, not that shut no, up. No, you know you shut know. up. It's like you know. shut up, shut down, shut out, shut off. Yeah. Hush. Yeah. You know, be quiet. Close your lips and mm-hmm. make no noise. Mm-hmm. Don't talk to me. <laughs> like that's saying so much, but it's two little words, and some people might be like, "Well, that doesn't really bother me." Well, if it doesn't bother you, then fine. But I, I would, I would suffice it to say that many people don't like to be told to yeah. shut up mm-hmm. it, in a moment of anger in a moment of expression in a moment of sensitivity in a moment of vulnerability the last thing you want to hear is shut up yeah and i you know like i said we deserve to be in a happy and healthy on relationship mm-hmm. and and there are times if you if you ever find yourself in times where um, the situation is getting confrontational, and I say that because it's the I believe it's a spot before a, a fight, mm-hmm. like something can be thrown or broken, or words can be thrown, or something else can be thrown. It's like mm-hmm. that's that moment before mm-hmm. um, something like that can happen, which is a really line a lot of people don't really can. It's hard for people to come back from. Yeah. When you start getting to it. it oh, oh, be, oh, now the gloves are yeah, off. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm across. Oh, you crossed the line. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay. But I believe that 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 <laughs> that phrase right there mm-hmm. is one of the, can start you on that, that path. Mm-hmm. Of, you know what? I'm just dismissing everything that you're say, are, are saying to me. Mm-hmm. And, and, and we're still desiring to be in a relationship with the person when you're telling them I don't care about your feelings now, I mean for real I think I think if you say when you say the word like that it's like you know what I, I, this is self preservation now and I'm like I'm, I, I just want I understand when um, people gonna be like well Vince you don't you don't get it he did this and he did it I, well you know if he's threatening you or you feeling threatening and confrontational you have to just remove, remove yourself, yourself from the situation mm-hmm. But I'm talking about in a place where y'all having an argument and a disagreement, and you you're just not seeing where there can be a a a, a common ground here, mm-hmm. and you get frustrated and you use phrases like "shut up" or well, "I wish you just leave" or "I didn't even mm-hmm. write this down. This is some extra stuff, <laughs> you know. Yeah. You know, get out. You know, it just it just I can't whole- stand you." <laughs> It, I hate that you. Takes you that one down a path. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Takes you down a path that is really hard um, to come back from, and yeah. I, and that's why I titled this the five toxic phrases that are hurting a relationship. Not could, and hurt. we didn't even talk about. I mean, you mentioned the B word before, but we didn't even talk about profanity. Yeah. Calling one another ugly names, whether that that's has whether it has to do with attributes. You know, mm-hmm. you're fat. You're skinny. You're you know whatever calling each other you know uh, vulgar names and boy people can come up with some vulgar names to call each other Mm -hmm. and with the same lips that you kiss me with yeah you curse me with Mm -hmm. and that's not easy to to come back from Mm -hmm. you know so we have to be really conscious of what we say to one another how we say what we say to one another of the weight of words the wealth of words and the weight of words are essential to 
a healthy relationship yeah. and a healthy communication because you can build the house or you can tear it down yes. with your own mouth. Yes, in the comments here, someone said, are you afraid just like go back to your ex? Why? <laughs> 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 that's <laughs> well that's, that is uh, saying a lot you want me to leave you, yeah like and don't come back and don't come back okay yeah, but, you, but do we understand you understand i can understand i mean just phrases like that you you're 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 emotional mm -hmm. i'm guessing i'm hoping the person was i'm not saying i, I mm -hmm. want this to be over with but right. when, i guess maybe they just want to say something to shake the other person mm -hmm. that's that 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 word those words do it that can be a sixth yeah. or seventh one and phrases like that you know okay after we get past this is argument okay alrighty we're, we're trying to make up and we're trying to but you said something back there mm -hmm. that um i yeah, was that, quite that i was kind of that kind of threw me back a little bit i yeah. mean really <laughs> Physically, literally. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. That's yeah. and it comes down to is that how you really feel about yeah. me? Mm -hmm. Well, no, I just said that because I was angry. Mm -mm. No, mm -hmm. whatever's in comes out. Yes, out of the out of whatever the is in, yes. yeah, the abundance of the heart, mm -hmm. the mouth speaks. Mm -hmm. So you say what you feel, even if this is my belief, even if you didn't mean for it to come out. Yeah. In the presence of the people you were in front of mm -hmm. or the way that it came out there's yeah. some truth to what we say mm -hmm. there's some truth to that now there sometimes people do just lie and make up things but <laughs> when you're being emotional and you're attacking mm -hmm. and you're angry and and words are flying i am of the school of thought that you don't say what you don't mean yeah yeah maybe you didn't mean this mean for me to hear it you know, or mean for somebody to hear you say it, but if you if you said it, you probably meant it. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like I said, hopefully you found something that um, maybe resonated with you, mm -hmm. and or if you know maybe someone that's kind of going through a situation like this, mm -hmm. hopefully you can share this video with them and just say, hey, what I recommend and what we recommend is always effective communication. Always, always talking mm -hmm. about the root. Of the problem getting trying to get to the root even if we don't even know exactly what that is the work always working work towards, towards that because all these things are just symptoms i mean but they're they're very hurtful um and and they're kind of borderline maybe abusive go ahead mm -hmm. and say that but yeah. you you have to understand first of all okay if we want to make this thing work that that was hurtful that was that was bad what we just went through yeah what can we do to not have to go through that again because i'm i was hurt i'm hurt uh, and and um I, i'm confused mm -hmm. so i want to understand like why um do we have an issue with such and such and such why do we keep coming to this yeah why point? do we keep coming to this or why point? do we feel comfortable and, talking to one another this mm -hmm. way I always continue to work back mm -hmm. to the root of the issue and that mm -hmm. that's just heading that way even if you don't know it yet that that's our, our do you i just had a thought do you remember this is uh dating us but do you remember uh war of the roses Mm, mm -mm. There's a movie called War of the Roses, and it was about this husband and wife. And I believe Danny DeVito was in this movie mm. years ago. I was a little girl when it came up. And um, I can't remember the, the woman's name, but she used to play on Moonlighting. Okay. Yeah, so really dating myself. <laughs> okay. But it's okay. I'm proud to be the age mm -hmm. that I am. Um, they were divorcing, and they just were so volatile. Mm in their I, I think fighting I, yeah. I mean to the point where they were on the lawn rolling back and forth and they were just trying to one up one another and jab okay. one another and okay. using the attorneys mm -hmm. and you know fighting over property and all of these other things and it's like if you put that up against the, that picture put that picture up against the meeting mm -hmm. the dating the wedding yeah. the honeymoon the first you know uh, six months mm -hmm. of, of meeting each other the first six months to a year of marriage sometimes people go into relationships with volatility and, and things that they should have resolved but if you allow these kinds of toxic behaviors to creep into your 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 marriage and your relationship 
they can take root yeah. and grow into something worse. Is that, I think the I think the number one reason why people get divorced, mm -hmm. at least in America, mm -hmm. is is it irreconcilable differences? Mm -hmm. We're gonna say that irreconcilable differences. But I believe the step before that mm -hmm. is what I call the resentment stage. Oh yeah. I believe people get resent resentment is really at the root of it is mm -hmm. unresolved anger towards yeah. one another it's issues that kept coming up and we never we never dealt with them. Them. you know we kind of got past them oh man we threw a spear at me that was close, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> well i really wasn't trying to hit you i was trying to hit the wall well we're not gonna talk throwing about it you didn't, hit, yeah, you didn't hit me we ain't gonna talk about but it but he didn't hit me and then okay. after a while you sit around you thought you sit in your bed and you like threw a spear at me yeah you know I'm just mad. Threw a glass at my head, and, and that piled upon something else that mm -hmm. never got dealt with. And that, when you get to that point of unresolved anger, now you start like disliking one another. Mm -hmm. Like my wife said, it was a picture of it when you got married, mm -hmm. and then now you're at this point where you're tussling and rolling in the ground, you know, fighting each other. Now, be like people say, what happened? Physically or with words? Yeah, it's, it's just. I think it's you, we allow ourselves to yeah. not deal with issues that mm -hmm. eventually turned to anger that turned to resentment mm -hmm. that led to i don't want to be with you anymore so right. i know that's a lot we can talk about that at another time yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for people that came on and tuned in with us uh this is so good and look baby take us out well we want to thank you all for joining us tonight if you haven't if you just come on if you are watching this uh or listening to this via podcast or youtube and a replay take the time to like it to share it mm -hmm. because i guarantee you you know at least five people <laughs> at least who are going through or have been through this type of situation within a, a relationship be it marriage or dating or may have led to mm -hmm. separation or divorce so we want you to take the time to share that so that someone else can watch and consider themselves let's see where i am do i say these things mm -hmm. and evaluate the weight of your words and then think about um what you can do to build one another mm -hmm. what can i say to to build the relationship mm -hmm. we want you to think about those things and share and um take the time to consider how important it is to talk to communicate with the person you love before you fight with the person good. that you love that's so good it's yes. worth it mm -hmm. it's worth the yes. time to you know how when 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 children are are little and they say um use your words mm -hmm. you know and i've heard teachers say you know that profanity is the is are the is the language of an ignorant man or something Ooh. like that mm. it's like you you use those words, the angry words, because you won't take you the have, time You don't to, know what else to say. Right. You don't know how to convey your feelings. Right. Your, so I want to just use it. I'm angry yeah. or I'm hurt, but I don't want to say that. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to I'm going to use my anger. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, take the time to share and consider yourself. And until next time, as always, we pray that the Lord bless you, that he keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you, that he give you peace, lift up his countenance towards you. And until next time, we'll see you then. See you here on Couples Pursuit Live. Bye. Bye.